This ape said I might be wrong, maybe, but I think they're double stacking their short positions. All the shorts they had, and now adding shorts to the new cusps. All the old short positions didn't just disappear with the cusp change. We bought all the shorts. The price is fake, go AMC. Let me know what you guys think. We do have a new article to go through. It says JP Morgan faces a whopping $3.5 billion lawsuit. JP Morgan, along with Citigroup and other major banks, are facing a whopping $3.5 billion lawsuit for allegedly manipulating the Forex market. The mass lawsuit was revised by a London court on Tuesday over alleged foreign exchange rigging reports routers. Now, the case was originally brought by Philip Evans, a former inquiry chair at Britain's Competition Markets Authority, on behalf of thousands of asset managers, pension funds, and financial institutions. Now, Evans brought the case, which was also against UBS, Barclays, NatWest, and even MUFG. Evans' lawyers, Anthony M., from the law firm Housefield, said in a statement, a judgment of nature was required for all those UK businesses, big and small, who have suffered loss as a result of the manipulation of the Forex markets to achieve restitution. Now, JP Morgan, Citi, UBS, Barclays, and MUFG have all declined to comment according to this report. But Evans' case is based on findings made by the European Commission, which fined banks more than 1 billion euros or 1.1 billion in 2019 for rigging the multi trillion dollar foreign exchange markets. And this was between 2007 and 2013. Some of the world's biggest banks have paid more than a combined of 11 billion in fines to settle US, British, and European regulatory allegations that traders manipulated currency rates for years. But maybe the bigger problem is, is that these banks just get fined and then back to business as usual. Massive FTDs fails to deliver. Massive over the counter trade, massive over the counter volume, massive MM exempts, massive short volume every day going on for two plus years. Has anyone at FINRA, SEC Gov, stopped to ask if anything suspicious here? That maybe crime is involved? Of course not. They're working for Wall Street and, and despise retail, AMC. It's a good point because obviously I'm biased, I'm in this play, and I do own some shares of AMC stock. But that being said, even if I was a bystander looking into this play, it would be obvious that some sort of regulatory or government organization needs to step in and at least look at what's going on here and tell us all, yeah, maybe there's nothing going on. Or, on the other hand, explain what the heck is going on and what's been going on for two plus years. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.